Topic three, defined benefit plans. The introduction. In a defined benefit plan, the employer takes on the financial risk of this type of plan. Benefits paid are based on a set formula, generally tied to employee earnings and or the years of service. The plan assets must be held in a separate legal entity where assets are increased by contributions and investment returns, and the assets are decreased by negative returns and benefits paid. The plan assets are valued at fair value. We also have the defined benefit obligation. This represents the present value of all expected future payments to employees. The net defined benefit liability or asset is the difference between the plan assets less the defined benefit obligation. This shows the overall funding status of a plan. That is, if the plan assets are greater than the defined benefit obligation, it is said to be overfunded. And conversely, if the defined benefit obligation is greater than the plan's assets, it's said to be underfunded or yes, underfunded. The defined benefit obligation is estimated by actuaries. Considerations include life expectancy, employee turnover, discount rates, future employee salaries, and disability rates. Let's look at a question. Which of the following indicates that a defined benefit pension plan is underfunded? Is it A, the actuarial valuation of the defined benefit obligation has increased? B, plan assets are greater than the defined benefit obligation. C, plan assets have decreased. D, the defined benefit obligation is greater than the plan assets. The answer is D. Which of the following indicates the defined benefit pension plan is underfunded? It's when the defined benefit obligation is greater than the plan's assets. That's all for this video. We're gonna look at a comprehensive walkthrough of a defined benefit pension plan in the next. I'll see you there.